We're going to mix and muddy up our colors, add them with the vodka, and basically what we're doing is we are, when you're painting on fondant, you are essentially, it's a lot like watercolor, okay? So you're watercolor painting. It's not an opaque thing that you can cover over. So a lot of painting techniques are you kind of do whatever it is that you're going to do and then you color over it. It's not going to work that way, okay? Today I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a bamboo effect because um, I did have a little panda and he didn't quite survive the heat we had. So we'll do him over, but I got a little elephant, but I wanted to do bamboo. So I'm going to add some of the pink to my green and that's gonna give us kind of a brownie color or a rust in that case. Let's add some more green. And you can do your bamboo in browns, you can do it in greens, you can do it in all kinds of colors. Uh, yellows, I've seen them done in yellow. So what I was thinking for our bamboo is I've got some color on here, some muddy color. And if we just kind of touch down and come up, and that's really light, I need more color. Here I was being so careful with my color. And here's the funny part, you know, you can always add more color. It's harder to take it off, really hard to take it off. So I'm just gonna touch down, give a little jerk, give a little jerk, give a little jerk to kind of get a little bamboo touch. Then I want to come back with my brush, do a little joint. This does not have to be super precise, guys. What do you think? If I keep spinning that while you're trying to watch, would that help? <laughs> and if we keep adding and changing that color as we're going, little joints. I have the attention span of a grasshopper because I'm wanting to jump to the next step already and I have to force myself, do the rest, then jump ahead. Now design-wise, I had to laugh a little bit when, um, is it Isabel? When Isabel said she wants to be a forensic scientist because I thought, oh yeah, I started decorating when I was real young and then I went to college to get a degree and I paid for my college education with my cake decorating so that when I got done I wouldn't have to decorate cakes anymore. And then I went off and got a job in the industry in my field and I thought, what am I doing? All I ever say to my children is, come on, hurry up, mommy's got a meeting. I thought, I could be home decorating cakes. So I left the corporate world, went home and started decorating cakes so I could be with my children. Yeah, if you pay for your college education with cakes, guess what, you'll probably keep doing it. But part of what started that is that I have my college degree in visual communication technology with an emphasis in graphic design. So because of that, there's a few tricks I learned while I was out there. So one of them is you want to work in odd numbers. You want to have the center be the longest. Let's
Okay, so I have five, five little sticks of, of bamboo, and bamboo is very straight and very stiff, but we can come in and start to have a little fun by adding some branches and leaves, and I want to have Is this starting to look a little more bamboo-y? 